Brait right. now is an investment holding company invested in New Look, Virgin Active, Premier Foods, no longer Premier Foods. Didn't it sell that? No, they still have oh, it. They still, yeah. have still have Premier it, yes. Foods. And they Iceland. sold, of they course, sold the shop right interest that they have because Pepcor, they sold Pepcor. the shares. That's what I was thinking about. Course. I was thinking about Pepcor. But the Market. core of the business is New Look, which is a fast mm. fashion retailer with a big footprint in the UK, Europe, and a little bit in China. And the market cap, 38.9 billion rand, a PE ratio, 66.8. Dividend yield here of 1.8%. Let's put up the share price because mm. this one looks even worse, and we do own and these. And we do own it. So this one got super high, and everybody was thinking they were going to do another five deals as well as they'd done the Pepco deal. Yes. Since then, getting caned. Yeah. So. Yikes. Yeah, they, uh, they've been a private equity uh, uh, investment company using leverage to buy uh, companies and big deal was New Look. They had to write that down by over 50% in their most recent uh, quarterly update and the NAV dropped by 21% as a result. Interestingly, New Look and the other operation in that's very focused on the UK's Iceland Foods, which sells uh, frozen foods, sort of to bachelors and divorcees. <laughs> and <laughs> well, there's like a that. niche market yeah. for you. Uh, <laughs> it's taking uh, off with these divorce aspirations. You know. <laughs> and with the, the weakening pound, have actually become a smaller part of the portfolio. Mm. So Virgin, which does have some exposure to the UK, but much less, and Premier, their two major assets now. So mm. just because of the way the asset prices have moved, uh, the, 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 the reduced exposure to the UK in a sense of their but portfolio. Do you foresee fashion retail to be weak in perpetuity or will people's clothes run out sooner or later they'll have to go back to the store? Yeah, look, I think there is a sort of a refresh uh, rate to, <laughs> to, to clothing, but it's very competitive. Uh, yeah. And also, as you pointed out, I think consumer sentiment could reduced mm. from these levels and so they're going to wear their garment for mm. a little bit longer and than they did. And it also helps that that tattered look is very in. I mean, <laughs> the more holes that you've got in your clothing, the, the more in you are, really? so to speak, right now. So there's and longevity. there's a Chinese thing in New Look as well, yes. right? So yeah, that should be some upside. Yeah. Hot, not hot. Look, I wouldn't necessarily buy them now, but we do own them. So I'm inclined mm. to say that the valuations have reached, you know, the level at which you let's, ought not to hope. sell them. Let's hope. But I'm interested to see what his observation yeah. is. I think I'd like to see a bigger discount to NAV. I think good assets uh, and they have written down the the UK uh, assets so but at a bigger discount than currently I'd get a bit more excited. Would you hold it if you were us? Yeah I think it has significantly repriced that it's at a, a reasonable level now I wouldn't go selling it. They didn't sound uh, too enthusiastic <laughs> about holding it. Yeah That's okay so, so I'm gonna so go with hot although it's a bit of a half-hearted mm. defensive hot but hot nonetheless. You're not hot Rowan? Mm. No.